When an acid reacts with water, it forms its conjugate base. Let's look at that. Here's HAC reacting with water to form H3O+, so donating a proton to water, forming H3O+, and the conjugate base. I know I can write Ka for this reaction, the products H3O+, Ac-, over HAC, and of course, pure water doesn't appear in equilibrium constant expressions. I can write the reaction of Ac- with water. That's the conjugate base of acetic acid. Here's the conjugate base reacting with water, and I can write a K for that as well. And I can give it the designation Kb because it's a base. Again, products over reactants. Water doesn't appear, pure water, in equilibrium constant expressions. Now, I know the stronger the conjugate acid, the weaker the conjugate base intuitively. The stronger this acid is, the more the equilibrium lies towards Ac-. So the more Ac- is likely to be in solution, here the Ac- is favored, here the Ac- is favored. Here it's a product, here it's a reactant. But the stronger the acid, the more that ion should be favored. Now let's look at the two. If I look at Ka and Kb, they're not the reciprocals of each other. That is, Ka is not 1 over Kb. This reaction is not just the reverse of that reaction. But if you look carefully, if you multiply Ka times Kb, so H3O plus Ac minus over HAC times HACOH minus over AC, you'll see the AC minus ion concentration cancels, and the HAC ion concentration, the acetic acid concentration cancels. What you're left with is H3O plus times OH minus. So Ka times B, Kb is H3O plus times OH minus. That is Kw. So now I have analytically that the product Ka and times Kb is a constant. So if Ka gets larger, a stronger acid, Kb must get smaller. So I have an analytical expression for strong acid means a weaker conjugate base.